about you guys so here is my um four pots that i started to do my avocados in. i didn't know how many I wanted to do but i just decided i was going to go ahead and just do um four my point or what i'm hoping is last time i did this you guys i started them in um in, in these just so you can see like hand wise how big they are they're pretty decent size but I put mine in five gallon um, bags last year, the two that I did. And I kind of wanted to do something a little bit smaller. And here she comes, you guys. Look at her in all her glory. She just can't help it when I come out here and record. Yeah, they see you. Um, and so a little bit smaller pots. I just want them to pop. It should take six to eight weeks in. I'm outside right now, you guys, because I just got done, but those will be coming indoors for sure um, under the lights, okay? So we'll see um, how long it takes to for them to pop. And then once they pop, then I'll get much bigger um, pots to put them in, you guys. All right, all right, take care. All right, guys, it's Tasha, Mom Bear Prepping. You already know what time it is. Get your drink. It's nice and early. Got to get the kiddo off to state testing today, but wanted to get this done. So started this video. You just saw my avocados. I decided to do four, you guys. I, I went back and forth with how many I wanted to do. At, at one point, I was like, I think four might be too much, especially when they start getting any kind of size. But the whole point is I will keep them indoors. I will keep them definitely indoors until they pop. So that's six, eight weeks. Then um, they'll get be able to get pretty big in the pots they're in. And then when I go to transplant them, um, which will probably not be until late summer, I'll have a greenhouse of some sort up and running that I can put them in. If the greenhouse is not up and running or it's not still not hold, doesn't hold enough heat or whatever the case may be, I'll go ahead and keep them in. My idea too is that hey, if they get too big or I feel like, wow, I have too many. I, I don't think there's any such thing as too many, but let's just say it's a possible a gift to give to a family member um, later once it's more established. So I just like the idea, pulled four pots, did four uh, avocados. So I would love to hear in the comments below, just with a number, if you guys did do the challenge, how many did you do? Um, just so we can kind of see how many people did the challenge and how many did people do. And if you did one, that's fine, baby. It's a whole avocado tree. So you're fine. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. It's Thursday mama bear, uh, challenge again for this week. Um, so since I've been talking about it a lot, I talked about it yesterday a lot, I'm going to personally be doing more MREs. I want to see if I can challenge myself in regards to the type of things that I'm putting in the MREs. Plus, I had a lot of people yesterday state in comments that, hey, I'd love to see you do the homemade MREs. How do you do them? Whatever. So for those folks, um, I will put in the description box today the video um, that I already did on this, okay? I did two videos back to back a while ago. The first video was basically what is an MRE, what goes in MRE. I showed you kind of what a military MRE looks like so you could get the idea behind it. And then my next video I did was behind that was the, how I do them. I actually showed you what I put in them, how I package them, all that stuff. So what I want to do today is I want to give you some parameters um, not, not hardcore parameters, but to give you an idea type of parameters, things to think about. And I want you to watch that video. And then I want you to, the challenge is to do your own. I'm going to do my own. And my personal challenge is to do ones that have different types of food, get some more variety, see really what I can find out there, um, and, and have fun with it. Now, um, cause you can't have, I mean, this is, this is just a great thing. I'm also going to challenge myself by packaging it a little bit different, Typically, um, and when I did those videos, I put everything together in a bag and then I back seal everything together. But I think I want to do it more individual where I actually take the breakfast items, I vacuum seal them separate. I take the lunch items, I vacuum seal them separate, dinner, vacuum sealed, and then put them all together in one thing with the drink packets, everything, and vacuum seal it. I think I want to do it that way. Um, so I'm going to play around a little bit with my packaging and how I do things, see how neat and tidy that I can get them, okay, and try to do that process better for myself. Um, things to think about, MREs, three meals is how I make mine. If you're thinking about rationing and you only want to do a two meal one, that's fine. 
um, so you're wanting, you know, your breakfast, something for lunch, something for dinner, think grid down. So think this is stuff that ideally you can eat cold right out of the packaging. Um, or if the sense is to you to put the MREs together, let's say everybody has a can of chili, let's say for dinner, um, and you do have a way to cook it, everybody that night puts their chili together and, and then eats it that way when you heat it up. Um, or ideally it's things that you will eat cold. Think about kids when you're doing this, right? What things will they eat cold? What things will they not eat cold, right? SpaghettiOs, what, what will they eat cold, okay? So think grid down. There's, you can get fancy with this, you guys, because there's immersion heaters, the little heater packets that come in the regular MREs that you can put in the, that you can buy separately and put in the MREs if you want to get fancy to heat stuff up. I don't have those. I've never done them before because you have to have the right packaging type of food to really put in there to warm them up. Okay. So it will only work with certain things. Okay. Um, like a can, it's not going to work because you don't put, you don't open it and put actual food in there, right? Because it's got like a packeting, packaging uh, in it that, that um, heats up when you add water to it, right? Um, think, so think all three meals, think snacks. So think of snacks, um, something just small, okay? Something small, a snack in the morning, snack in the uh, afternoon, uh, think drinks, okay? Drink packets. What are they going to drink? Think about your um, condiments. Think about your, um, and that includes your utensils. What are they eating everything with? So forks, spoon, knife, um, salt and pepper, any kind of like seasoning, um, napkins, right? Something to clean themselves, a wet wipe, that type of thing. Um you can really just have fun with this, okay? Like I mentioned yesterday, I did get some stuff in bulk. If it's an item that I'm gonna put in every single one, then I went on Amazon and I bought that in bulk, right? So let's, I, I mentioned this yesterday in case you didn't catch yesterday's video, tuna packets, if I bought bulk mayonnaise, mustard, and um, relish, and I put them all in the packet that goes with tuna, for example, all right, um, so that you could make, a, um, you know, put some stuff in the tuna packet instead of just eating dry tuna. Ain't nobody trying. People are like, oh, you can eat this stuff, survive on this stuff. Can you survive on it? Yes, but ain't nobody trying to eat just a dry packet of tuna, okay? Absolutely not. Now, another thing too, some things to think about. You're going to count all the calories for everything that you put in it because when you package it, however you package it, um, I, I write on the front of it with a Sharpie, the calories, the total calories for the entire thing. Um, that way, if you're trying to hit a mark, like, hey, you want to make kits that are 2,000 calories. You want to make kits that are 3,000 calories. Whatever your, your, the magic number that you want to get, you're going to do that, okay? And you could do high energy ones, right? You could do three, four, 4,000 calories if you know you guys are like really, really working every day and you want those higher cal calories, okay? Think this through. Um, there's a, there's a lot of options. There's, um, you know, if you are blessed and have a, a freeze dryer, I mean, that's kind of cool. I would love to play with MREs with, with that aspect. Um, I don't have mine yet, but I think that would be cool. So make sure you're counting the calories. Um, let's see what else. Uh, let's see all three meals, snacks, count your calories, write that on the front, Play around with your packaging and how you want to do that. Um, again, you can watch the video and see how I did the last ones that I did. Um, let's see. That might be it, you guys. I, I, this is just my challenge if you've never done one. And if you've never done this and you don't have a whole lot of money, there's no need to go out and do, you know, 10 of these, 20 of these. You don't you don't need to do that if you don't have the money or the resources to do that, okay? Um, go to your preps, see what type of things you have already, and just lay out on the table a, a, a complete meal and just see what you have. Think about size, okay, because when you put all this together, how much does it weigh? Because again, an MRE might be something that you throw in a backpack to go somewhere, to go on a hike, to go whatever, right? Um, so weight is important as well that you don't have, you know, three canned items, right? Um, and another thing is you if you start doing canned items, right? It needs to be a canned item that you can open on the spot. Could you have a can opener? in the area that everybody can use or whatever. Yes. But again, what if this is an MRE that is taken somewhere, you don't have that stuff um, and you want to be able to open this MRE and sew those pop tap tops. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to mention. 
pay attention to your expirations. You want to be putting stuff in these that have the longest shelf life. And then on the front, um, where you put the um, calories, you can put the earliest expiration date just to give you an idea. Now, again, if stuff is packaged, um, you know, it's going to last, right? Um, you're doing MREs. These aren't MREs to last you 25 years, you guys, okay? So it's okay to put like nuts and different things that maybe long, long, long term will will um, go bad, will go rancid. Yes, so you're not making MREs to feed yourself 25 years from now. You're making MREs to feed you during, you know, the next crisis, a grid down situation, um, you know, a time when things are, are kind of crazy and it's the easiest thing to grab to give to your family member to make the, the, the time better. The, the number one reason is grid down because now you're not having to cook. You're not having to worry about anything. You're just everybody's getting their MRE for the day and people are eating when they want to eat that type of thing okay so i hope you guys have fun when i come back next week i'm going to show you what i came up with um the new one in the meantime if you've never done an mre check out the video in the description also go ahead and just put in in google or put in the search you know uh homemade mres and see what other videos come out and what other people have done i'm sure there's other videos so you can get other ideas as well okay but i'm super excited because it's been a while since i've made some and i'm excited to see what i can find that's different and fresh and so that there's a variety and i'm not just making more emories with the same old tired stuff that i always do them with right and then again my challenge is my packaging and seeing how tight and needy and light i can get these packages okay so um blessings from my bear cave to yours we have busy days we have testing all day today and um i will see you guys tomorrow in the next video take care bye